What's good, you guys are back at it with another unreleased, technically, it is unreleased, Juice World song, but it's got a released version of it. This is Flaws and Sins V2. Um, so, I'm really curious, because I, I this has been in the playlist for me to react to for a minute, like, legit, a, a solid fucking month and a bit um since it was leaked and i really really wanted to hear it because i just i heard the snippet and it sounded really good and like a lot of these songs that's kind of what really intrigues me to do the reactions is i'll hear the snippet of it kind of like a preview and it's usually really really good by the way i do not know if my phone's vibrating if you guys can hear that um i am getting absolutely flamed right now <laughs> or not me my comment I posted on uh, Instagram, people are fighting with each other. <laughs> I think it's pretty fucking hilarious, but it's entertaining as fuck for me, not for you guys. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's get her. The truth is hard to die. Oh, wow. Jump, yeah. okay. Sure. Right, right, right off the jump, they changed that shit. They did exactly what they did with um, Lean With Me 2.0 or whatever it was. Look at how beautiful this joint's turning out, though. I'm very, very happy with these OCB papers. Never in a million years did I think I would say that. I actually think these are better than the raw black. I'm very, very, very close to like just completely making that full-on switch. To Ooh, same fuck that fell back into the tree. Almost dumped my weed. I feel fucking great right now, dude. I smoked this joint. Uh, this hemp wrap before and like making um the last video we know through 2.0 and it just made me feel so fucking good and we're never gonna smoke another dude let's get her let's get her Kill me die just to uh -huh. suck my dick and get a meal with it <coughs> they want to suck my deal and cow a meal with it <coughs> i love the way that juice world has a play on words dude it's something that not every artist does very well a lot of artists do have a play on words but not all artists do it well at least the way the juice world can do it very talented uh, artist I, I i definitely think that if he was still alive i i think if he if he never died eventually he would make it into some kind of like hall of fame um even if it didn't happen right away which i would honestly be surprised if it didn't like i i learned yesterday or the day before that um i think it was like five songs off of death race for love chop chopped, topped <laughs> a top 10 chart dude imagine five of your songs made it to a top 10 list and to boot all five of those songs were off of that one album that you just that was currently released at the time. I think that's pretty fucking impressive. Two other people you were able to see that it was the Beatles and Drake. That's that's pretty impressive. But ironically, he doesn't like Drake. Stay well. 
we should play the wild. Let me stop acting wild. It's time to settle down. If you couldn't tell I'm intoxicated. I ain't late though, no, I ain't belated. Looking at you like that. I ain't late, no, I ain't belated. That's what I'm talking about. Play the words, dude. He knows his shit. He's one of those rappers that, like, I feel like. I don't remember what, rap what rapper it was that I heard that legit would fucking just like read through the dictionary to learn new words to rhyme with. I think that's pure, obviously dedication, but like then still to have that ability to do it is a different thing, right? Like you can know all the words in the dictionary, but you cannot, you can still not be able to really utilize them the way that a lot of artists don't. You know what I'm saying? When you when you repeat the word 50 million times, it just sounds like you're just trying too hard. Juice World doesn't have to try it all. I, that's honestly God how I feel. You make me feel famous. Fame make me feel shit. There's some crazy shit I got to do with. I like the beat too, you know. The, the, was that with the lyrics? I didn't see what the love is. <laughs> get it straight, girl, I love, I don't hate you. And get it straight, I can never replace you. Let's take you out, dinner date at the lake. We up in LA, late, late, late. Most of my neck place that you can stay, stay, stay. It ain't safe, 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 safe. Put my heart in your safe, safe, safe. Cause you know a bitch gonna try to take the day, day, day. You gon' have to shoot her in the face, 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 face. Yeah. Uh, but no fade away, wait, wait, wait. My heart ain't gon' fade away, wait, wait, wait. I would never hurt you, you, you. I know what you do in the perks, do, do. We can do the perks, do, do. I just pray them perks don't hurt you, you, you. Yeah. Oh, stay away. We should play a while. Let me stop acting wild. It's time to settle down. If you couldn't tell I'm intoxicated. I ain't late, don't know I ain't late. Looking at you like damn, like damn. I'm going to grab me an next bottle of water. But. Um, <laughs> what do I compare this to the original, or at least the released uh, Flaws and Sins? I actually like the released version better. I think this is really good too. Out of 10, like the, the released version being a 10, this is like a 7. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. I really like it. Um, it might go in my rotation just because it's a version I've never heard of a song that I have, if that makes sense. Um... But I don't think I would really keep it in my rotation for more than maybe a month. I feel like I would definitely get used to this and just tired of it. But it is one of those songs that's kind of like the Campfire Freestyle. That like you hear it, you just you listen to it till you get sick. You stop listening to it, and then like months down the road, you re-listen to it again, and it's like it kind of brings back that level of nostalgia that you had when you first heard the song. It's it's kind of one of those deals. So definitely a good song. Um, I burnt my knuckle earlier. And it's absolutely fucking killing me. But good song. Good song. Um good song. Baby, you're the type of girl to run my real fame. You make me feel famous. This fame will make me feel shit. That's some crazy shit I got to do. Allows me to focus on the beat a little bit more because, like, it's the lyrics don't hit the, the, the beat the same way as the, as the released version of Flaws and Sins. So, like, hearing the same beat with different lyrics, I can really actually hear the beat differently a little bit. I know it's the same exact beat, more or less, but I can hear more of the beat because there's pauses in different parts of the song now. Um, like I said, what do I rate the song though? Definitely, definitely a seven. Um, I really did enjoy the song. Like I said, I'm not in love with it. It's definitely not. It, it, it ain't no, no lean with me V2. You know what I'm saying? It's not one of them, but I definitely fuck with the song. It won't be in my rotation for long if I, I'm really debating whether this is going to be in my rotation, but if you guys want to see what songs I'm currently listening to, if I remember because by the time this gets scheduled, it'll probably be like a week. Um, I will have the link in the comments down below as a pinned comment. 
to the playlist literally called My Rotation, which is literally, I didn't fucking guess it already, um, My Rotation. It's what I'm currently listening to on rotation. So, in the car, you know, go to the gym, go and take my dog for a walk, wherever the fuck, it's my rotation, my main jam. So, before we sign off on this video, I want you guys to take a quick hit off of this, because this is some solid fucking weed. You know, stop hogging it. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know. Maybe I'm fucking whack. Let me know. <laughs> let me know if I'm whack uh, for, for saying that this song is a 7 and in reality it's like a fucking 15 out of 10. I don't know. I just, I think Flaws and Sins 2.0 definitely had a better overall vibe. This, I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm not really liking this more. So we're going to leave it at that. But uh, thanks for watching.